Do you need to snap layers within your composition? Maybe you need text layers to be perfectly aligned to the edges of an image. Or maybe this feature has accidentally been enabled and you desperately want to disable it. Regardless, check out this quick tip and resolve either issue in a snap. At the top of your interface, you'll see the option for enable snapping. Check this box off or on depending on what you need. When it's checked on, there are three options you can employ. The first option reveals points where layers can align to each other, which is indicated by this dotted line, and allows snapping along those lines as well as other layer edges. Where you grab your layer dictates which point on that layer will be snapped, which is indicated by a square around the layer's edge or center point. Make sure you grab close to, but not on one of these points. When I drag this text layer from its center, snapping options appear for one of its center points, depending on whether I'm closer to the top, middle, or bottom of the layer's center. When I drag it from one of its snapping points on the right, my options are now for snapping to one of its right points. Likewise, when I drag this layer from its left, options appear for snapping from one of its left points. The layer being dragged can be snapped anywhere along the edge of the layer it's snapping to, or to one of its edge or center points. The second option is basically the same as the first, but without the dotted line that reveals possible snapping points. Again, where you drag the layer from will dictate which part of the layer is being snapped. The third option is to enable both features, but the first option gives you everything you need to snap your layers. And all of these options allow you to snap your layer to the center of your comp. The next time you need to perfectly align layers to each other, to the center of your comp, or both, remember to enable snapping and choose one of After Effects' three options. But this is also good to know when snapping has been accidentally enabled and you want to disable it but aren't sure how.